So it was the morning before, or the weekend before I was supposed to go to my freshman year of high school, right? And so my sister had two friends over, and her and their parents were over too because they're they're on my sister's soccer team, and my parents were friends of them as well, you know. So they wanted to go down to have subway at the village center, which is like two miles from my house. And I really didn't want to go, but I went anyways, you know. And uh, so we're walking down, and we get about halfway down the hill, and so and there's just some cones lying in the middle of the street, which is weird because there's nothing going on, right? And so this car pulls up right next to us, and this 17-year-old kid starts like yelling at us, right? Just going, why do you guys put these cones here? Getting all mad, up in our face, you know? And like yelling at my sister and her friends, and so we told him to go away, and, after a little bit, he had fallen us, he left, you know. And we just thought, oh, that's strange, right? You know, why the heck is this happening, you know? And so then we still continued down, went to Subway, ate, and then we walked back up the hill. And as we're walking up the hill, the cones get out of the way, and the same car pulls up next to us. And the guy starts harassing my sister, right? Like, her and her friends, you know? And just getting up in their face, and. So then tried to convince him to get in the car and we told him to go off and my sister isn't so kind and told him to go F himself and all that and you know, so he got mad and drove off and took like a left turn and our house was up like five hundred yards to the right, up a hill, right? And so we turn right onto the street and we're walking up and then the same car comes back and uh, parks in front of us and then three more cars, two parked behind us and one parked in uh, front of us as well. And instead of uh, the guy who had been harassing us the whole day getting out of the car, some, some kid, bleach blonde hair, you know, like 5'10", I was like 5'8 at the time, right? Gets out of the car and starts walking towards us, looking pretty just angry and all riled up, you know? And so, uh, then I told my sister and her friends to cross the street and go home, get mom and dad, you know, because there's six adults in our house. And so instead of doing that, they just ran the street and stopped and just stood there, right? You know, doing nothing productive. But. <laughs> so, then, so I woke up to the guy, I'm like, hey, how are you? What's up? And he just comes up and just pushes me and he goes, why the hell did you put the cones in the middle of the road? And just got all mad at me, like, in my face. And I was like, we well, didn't put the cones in the road, man. Like, calm down. Like, <coughs> Let's talk about this. We did not put the cones in the road. We just walked down. Like, like why, why would I go down and put cones in the road? That is a pain in the butt to do. Because we live like half a mile up the hill from where the cones were, right? And there's like the huge street cones, not like, you know. Anyways, so then after that, he goes, he screams at me, don't lie to my face, and pushes me and throws me in the bushes and get out of the bushes. I'm like, Dude, let's just talk about this. We do not do that. <laughs> like, I'm trying to talk him down, right? Like, doing everything I can to talk him down, and the guy just wasn't having any of it. So I crossed the street because he kept pushing me, and so I ran across the street and started walking up the hill where my sister and her friends were. And then he follows me across the street and goes, Why'd you run away from me, man? And I'm like, Because you're not listening to me. You're just being all aggressive, like, meathead. Like. But so then he gets all mad and pushes me again. And I'm like, Dude, we didn't do it. Just leave us alone, and so he takes me and throws me, and my head just hits the light post next to me, like the cement light post. And so I just hit the floor, right? And as I'm getting up off the floor, like, everything just seems slow. Like, I don't even notice that it hurts, you know, or like, that there was, I was bleeding in the mouth, you know, like, from hitting my face, and like, so I get up, and it just seems slow, and a car just skids to a halt in the middle of the street, just parked in the very middle of the street. And it's my dad's, like, SUV. And so the guy immediately charges the car, Right? And so I run up to where my sister and her friends are, and I turn around, and as he reaches the car, a hand reaches out of the window and grabs him by the throat and just lifts him up, and it was uh, my sister's dad, my sister's friend's dad, and he's like some 300-pound New Yorker guy. Just lifts the kid up and looks at my dad and goes, Roger, I'm too fat. You have to go around and get him. <laughs> <laughs> and so my dad isn't very uh, astute, like doesn't pay attention to his surroundings. So he sprints out of the car and grabs his kid by the throat and slams him in the car and goes, Where the fuck is my son? Just yelled at him and just starts slamming him into the car. And so I yelled at him from like 20 yards up, I'm up here, Dad, I'm okay. <laughs> so my sister's friend's other parents were both police officers. And so they got out of the car and by this time all of his friends are gone. The guy who was in the passenger seat had gotten out and left him. 
So he just passed through doors ajar, and he's just sitting there. And there was a black trash bag over his license plate, and so he's yelling at them, like, I want to press charges, and getting all mad, and they go over, and there's a black trash bag on your license plate, which means you're doing something bad, and it's also illegal. So they take a picture of him and look at him and go, you were so fucked. <laughs> and then just pull it off and take a picture of his license plate, and so eventually they let him go, and we, and we went home, and I was, like, sitting there traumatized, like, shaking, you know, but... Like, at the end of the day, we didn't press charges or anything, or nothing really happened beyond that, but I was just, like, nervous for, like, the next, like, two weeks every time I was walking down there, like, you know? But, yeah, that was my story.